This is the BMW X4M competition. BMW's first entry into the mid-size SUV and SAC marketplace. So let's take a look around some of the exterior details, the interior, and then we'll jump in, take the car for a drive to see what it's like. Let's begin at the front end, the business end, if you will. I think it looks outstanding. We've got the gloss black kidney grills with the double slats, which signify the M model. Now they're gloss black as well to signify the competition model. The competition is actually the only variant of X4 and X3M that we will get in the UK. Elsewhere, you can get a standard X3M and X4M. But here we've got the competition and the competition has the gloss black elements. There's some more down here with the enormous inlets here, which feed a brand new engine, which we'll touch on very shortly. You also get the adaptive LED lights as standard on the X3 and X4M. The flank, I think, is so well proportioned. The alloy wheels are outstanding. You've got the gloss black breather down here, and you can trace the swage line all the way along through the front handle and into the rear handle. We've got M wing mirrors, which always look great. Tinted windows on this particular model, now that isn't standard. And of course, no BMW would be complete without the Hofmeister kink. Now the rear is probably my favorite part of this car. Wasn't too sure on the rear of the X4 when it first came out, but I love this. You've got the 3D LED wraparound rear lights, which add an element of width to the car. So when you're driving along, these just make the car look wider than it is. X4M also gets this gloss black rear boot lip spoiler, which looks fantastic, especially against this white paintwork. Model designation is here in gloss black. And of course, you've got quad pipes. Now take a listen to those. Don't they sound great? In terms of practicality, you've got plenty. Electronically folding tailgate as standard on the X3M and the X4M. Boot space is very, very generous. I've got my tripod case, I've got my slider, and I've got my gimbal and so on all in here with plenty of room to spare. There is an awful lot of space in here considering you've got the slope in back. Now I've got a question. Which do you think looks better? The X4M or the X3M? Vote using the pop-out banner in the top of the screen. And if you'd like to have a look at my walk around of the X3M, again, use the pop-out banner. Now let's go and jump in and take a look at if the interior looks just as M-like as the exterior. The interior of the X4M is just as purposeful as the exterior. As standard, we get these absolutely stunning M performance seats with, especially in this car, the dual colors with the red going through it. It's just beautiful. M designation on the rear of the seats here. Now these light up when you get in and out. Standard equipment in here is very, very generous. So we've got professional media system and we've got a full M cockpit, including the heads up display, which is an M specific heads up display. Of course, you get all of your regular cute creature comforts. So you've got cruise control, heated seats, dual zone air conditioning, and many, many more. The X4M also gets Harman and Kardon sound system as standard and a few other little bits. Now, of course, this being an M product, you get plenty of driving modes. So first things first, the car comes as standard with an automatic gearbox. This is an M specific automatic gearbox. So you've got a couple of settings on the top of the gear stick for the ferocity of those changes as always. And then we've got the M driving dynamic panel down here. So you've got three different settings. We've got the engine and the drivetrain, we've got the dampers and we've got the steering response. And then there's another additional little button down here, which is for the exhaust. Who doesn't like an exhaust button? You also got on the steering wheel these awesome M buttons, which are finished in this just beautiful red. Let's call it race red. I don't know if that, I don't think it's called that, but let's call it that for now. The starter button is in that same color too. It all just ties in so well. 
But the thing I love the most is it's BMW. You feel like you're in a BMW. It's If you've driven BMWs in the past, you'll know exactly where everything is in here. They've refreshed it, kept it bang up to date, but still managed to keep that BMW DNA in here just with a few smatterings of M. As I say, it's a fabulous place to sit. All of the interior materials just feel outstanding. All the buttons, when you move them and touch them, all feel absolutely solid. It feels just a real great premium product. And the standard equipment in these is fantastic. But this is an M car. So let's go and see what hides underneath that bonnet, shall we? So, under here lives a three litre, six cylinder, twin power turbo petrol, which produces 510 brake horsepower, which is enough to propel this big SUV from not to 62 miles an hour in just 4.1 seconds. Now that is ballistically fast. It, it really, really is. The interesting thing about this engine is it's brand new. And this is going to be lifted into the next M3. So this is a very, very interesting engine indeed. The car uses an MX drive system. Now it's not like the MX drive system that's available in the M5 where you can basically shut off the front axle and only have it as rear wheel drive. This isn't like that. This is always four wheel drive. Now you can change it into a four wheel drive sport mode, which pretty much sends almost all of the power to those rear wheels to give it a really nice rear drive biased chassis. But this engine, this power plant, is the brand new one. It's gonna be with us for a long time and I'm safe to say, first impressions of it, it's an absolute cracker of an engine. So let's begin with the comfort side of this. Let's begin with the X4 side, if you will. So I actually, yes, the damping is hard, but that's what you'd expect for an M car. You wouldn't buy an M car and expect it to be the softest thing in the world. Yes, it is firm, but I don't think it's too firm. I've got everything currently set in comfort and it feels perfectly fine. I think you could cruise in this easily. The steering in comfort is very, very direct and easy. And you don't really feel this car's size. The visibility around, even with the X4, with the sloping rear, is still very good. Your infotainment systems are all brilliant because obviously it's BMW, their infotainments are some of the best out there. The digital display in the middle is so informative and so easy to use. And heads up display, I adore heads up display, what a great thing that is. The space in here, there's more than a space, five people. These seats as well are so figure hugging and comfortable, really, really nice. I think it's actually very good. There isn't actually that much tyre noise either, which you would expect with a car that of this type. It's, it's designed to be an M car, but it doesn't feel too hard, too crashy. It's actually not bad at all. I don't think a car like this, you do, I don't think you'd want it to be too soft because then it wouldn't have the poise and the precision when you actually get a shift on. Speaking of which, let's now take a look at the other side of this car, the M side of it. So, when you turn everything into sport mode, sport gearbox and sport plus on the drivetrain and the suspension and the steering, this car, well the big question is does it feel like an M car? Immediately, yes it does. And it shifts, okay? Really, really shifts. It's <laughs> so fast. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This thing is brilliant. I really, really like it. I think it's great. The steering responsiveness is just so precise. For such a big car, you really can place it beautifully on the road. And then in sport, the damping, yes, gets a lot harder, but that's what you want. You want an M car to damp like this. You want it to be hard and precise. And this really does feel that way. The steering. <laughs> yes. This is probably all the car you'll ever need. It's practical. There's plenty of room inside. When it's in comfort, it is surprisingly comfortable. And then when you really want to get a shift on, it's so visceral. 
you sort of have that in the back of your mind that an SUV M car isn't going to be exciting, but let me tell you right now, right here, yes, it is. It's very exciting. I love it. I really do think this is pretty much all the car you're ever going to need. So that is the BMW X4M competition. To put things in perspective, I love this thing. I really didn't know what to think of it when I first saw it. The engine is a masterpiece and I'm so excited to see the other forms that that engine will take over the coming years. I think the car looks amazing. It actually is a very comfortable car to use on a daily basis. Fuel consumption isn't all as bad as you would expect it to be. And as an overall package, what more could you want? It pretty much does absolutely everything this. Now, if you'd like any more information on the X4M or the X3M competition, do please contact your nearest Rybrook BMW retailer. And do please subscribe to Rybrook TV for plenty more videos just like this to come. Please drop it a like too and comment. I read through every single comment and reply to most of them. And yeah, I think I'm going to get in and take it for one more blast before I have to give the keys back to it. Really impressed with this thing. I'll see you next time.